Okay, after some time, we got one shulker box worth of torch flowers and one shulker box worth of pitcher plants. But we won't be using these for dye. What we're going to be using is the primary colors in order to get every single dye in Minecraft. Yeah. What up, my roomies, and welcome back to the technical guide to Minecraft. And today, we're finally going to get all 16 dyes that you can get in Minecraft. And I've already prepped up the area over here. But the reason for the dyes is, of course, we want to build up Ambrosia and have some color in between. Because while I do like the kind of cold aesthetic of this place, it's very monochrome. Even though I think it does look good and kind of modern-y, it's kind of stale in terms of color. So when you start building up from this industry level, we're going to start building, well, more buildings that'll have more color and really put life into this place place and eventually i'm going to replace all the tinted glass that's around here it's mostly just there just to keep everything out but it's kind of well boring <laughs> so in order to get every single die in minecraft welcome to kikakor where safety is a concern so over here we have all 16 dyes that you can get in minecraft we have white light gray gray black brown red orange yellow lime green cyan light blue blue purple magenta and pink and you have no idea how many times that took in order to get that take right <laughs> <laughs> oh, I spent like a solid 10 minutes getting that entire line correct, and I'm very happy to finally do it. But to start off, we're going to start off with the shades that aren't actually colors. We have white, which we're going to get from bone meal, and black, which we're going to get from squid ink. And when you combine that, you of course get gray. And by using the gray dye, we combine it again with white dye or bone meal, and then we get light gray dye. So that eliminates the first four of our list. So moving on to brown, unfortunately, even though in color three, if you combine all the primary colors, or at least when it comes to acrylic paint you get brown but that doesn't really work in minecraft and you'll come to find out that there are a couple of weird exceptions when it comes to color in minecraft and this just happens to be one of them so in order to get brown you need cocoa beans and with cocoa beans you grind it up and you get brown dye so we can eliminate brown dye from our 16 leaving us now with 11 more colors so starting off with the two primary colors yellow and red if we get dandelions which is going to be the yellow dye and red lilies or poppies if you have an iron farm I just use red lilies just because I have a flower farm. By combining these two, you of course get orange dye. So that eliminates red, yellow, and orange. And by using the other two primary colors, if you combine the cornflower or blue dye and the red lily slash poppies or red dye, you get of course purple dye. And this eliminates blue and purple. Pretty straightforward so far. If you were to combine bone meal or white dye and red lilies slash poppies or red dye, you get of course pink dye. And then by using this pink dye that we just made and then combining it with a purple purple dye that we got right here, you then get magenta dye, which means that getting magenta dye is going to cost a lot of those base flowers that we talked about if you're just using primary colors, which is why I would suggest if you can use lilacs to get magenta, because as you can see, it's a lot of dyes that you need in order to get magenta and lilacs just turn into magenta dye. But for the purposes of tutorial, we're going to be using all the primary colors when we're making it in ambrosia. And so this eliminates both magenta and pink. And this is where it gets weird because color theory would dictate that if you were to combine a yellow dye or a dandelion and a cornflower or blue dye that you would obviously get green dye that is not the case like brown green is another dye that you cannot make by combining colors you actually have to go out get cactus and smelt it so this does not actually work you need to go grab yourself some cactus in order to get some green dye. Again, it's one of those Minecraftisms that really doesn't make much sense in real life. But again, not everything in a video game will match real life. So we're just going to give this a pass for now. And with that, we eliminate green. If you were to combine the cactus or the green dye and the cornflower or the blue dye, you get cyan. And so we only have two colors left, lime and light blue, which as you can imagine are really easy to get because all you need is a cactus or green dye and bone meal or white dye and you get yourself lime and at the same time if you were to combine bone meal again or white dye and a coin flower or blue dye you of course get light blue dye and with that eliminates the last two dyes that we're going to need in order to get every single dye in minecraft it's all really that simple if you want a visual of this is going to be schematic and a world download in the description below and with that in mind let's head back to the technical guide world and get to it quick interruption i noticed that only 12 percent of you are actually subscribed to this channel watching this long i must be doing something right so if you like this video hit that like button and please subscribe to this channel any support helps and these videos take a bit long to make thank you so much and back to the video all right now that we've viewed everything about that let's go ahead and start combining in order to get all 16 dies that you can get in minecraft <laughs>
All right, let's put this all back in the storage system real quick. Okay, now that all that's going to be sorted for us, if we go back over here, you can see that we have all 16 types of dice. Now, granted, we only have one Shulka box so far, and in the future, we're going to craft more and more of these. But I hear the elephant in the room. Kigu, you only made one of every type of color. I mean, don't you have server mates, and don't you think they would want some color too? The whole point of Ambrosia is for other people to use it. What's the point of having colors if you're the only one who actually has it? Well, I hear you. First of all, both of you do assume that my other server mates haven't been actually getting color themselves. I mean, let's be perfectly honest here. Out of everyone on the server, I'm probably the least able to build. So they probably had these colors way before I had them to begin with. And secondly, it takes such a long time to do them with primary colors. I had woefully underestimated how long it would take to actually get all the 16 colors that is in Minecraft with just using primary colors, especially magenta. I mean, magenta took so long because it took a combination of two combinations, which meant that I need to get one shulka box worth of purple and one shulka box worth of pink in order to get a shulka box worth of magenta. I mean, oh boy, that by itself took such a long time that probably will be underappreciated because of the replay. <laughs> and so I'm not really worried about my server mates not having the colors in all honesty. They probably have it already, but in a future date, I am going to mass craft them with a future thing, but we'll get to that when we do. But thankfully those weird ones were few and far in between. I mean, I still had to do combinations like cyan or orange or all the other non-primary colors. But the fact that that one specifically took such a long time, I'm just gonna go over to my tall flower farm and just use lilacs from now on because my goodness, that was totally not worth it. But now that we have access to all the different dyes in Minecraft, it's time to finally get to the thing that we've been leading up to. And that is of course, the every color automated wool farm.